Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these four empty boxes along with four mathematical operations as you can see over here. And now we are going to add, multiply, subtract and divide such that we are going to get 27, 11, 36 and 5. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's go ahead and label these boxes. I'm going to label this uh, red box as an A, this green box as a B, blue as C and this yellow as D box. So let's focus on this uh, horizontal boxes. This one we got A plus B equals to 27. Let me go ahead and write down A plus uh, b equal to 27 likewise let's focus on these boxes c minus d equals to 11 let me go ahead and write down c minus d equals to 11 now let's focus on these vertical boxes this first one a divided by c is going to give us 5 and finally these boxes b times d equals to 36 and now let's focus on this equation this fraction let's remove this fraction by multiplying c on both side this c and c is gone so therefore we got a equal to 5 times c and here I have copied down this system of four equations with four variables. This first equation is right here. This is the second equation. This is the third one. And this is the fourth one. Now let's go ahead and solve this system of equations for A, B, C and D. Now let's go ahead and manipulate this very first equation. Let me go ahead and move this A on the other side. So that means it's going to give us b equal to 27 minus a now let's manipulate the second equation i'm going to move this d on the other side and 11 on the opposite side so therefore we are going to have a d equal to c minus 11. now let's go ahead and manipulate this uh, fourth equation b times d equal to 36 our b is this I'm going to replace and this D I'm going to replace by this C minus 11. So therefore this could be written as 27 minus A times C minus 11 equal to 36. But we know our A equals to 5C. So I'm going to replace this A by 5C. So therefore I can write 27 minus 5c times c minus 11 equal to 36. Now let's go ahead and distribute. I'm going to do double distribution. Therefore we're going to get 27c minus 297 minus 5c square plus 55 c equal to 36 now let's go ahead and move everything all these terms on the other side as you can see in this next step let's go ahead and combine the like terms so we are going to get 5 c square minus 82 c plus 333 equal to zero and now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by quadratic formula and here's our well-known quadratic formula that we will be using now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this quadratic formula so c equal to in our case b is negative and negative 82 plus r minus square root of negative 82 square minus 4 time a is 1 c is 333 all over 2 times a is 5 and here we have simplified this thing and we got c equals to 82 
plus or minus 8 divided by 10. Let's go ahead and split these positive and negative signs. So therefore we're gonna get uh, c equals to 82 plus 8 divided by 10 and the other value is gonna be c equals to 82 minus 8 divided by 10. And here for this uh, first equation our c value turns out to be positive 9. And for this uh, next equation if we reduce this thing that is going to give us c equal to 37 divided by 5. So we got two values of c. And now we are going to look into two scenarios. First look at when c equals to 9 and we are going to find the value of b, d and a. Now let's focus on this third equation. And here I have copied it down. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So a equal to 5 times c is 9. So a turns out to be 45 value. And now let's focus on this very first uh, equation. And here I have copied it down. Let's go ahead and replace uh, a by 45 and solve for b. So this equal to 27. Let's subtract 45 from both sides. This is gone. So b value turns out to be negative 18. And finally let's focus on this second equation. And here I have copied it down. Let's go ahead and replace this uh, c value by this uh, 9. So therefore we got 9 minus uh, d equals to 11. Now let's subtract 9 from both sides. This is gone. So minus d turns out to be 2. That means d value is going to be negative 2. So thus we figured out all of our values a, b, c and d as you can see. Now let's focus on this case too. We're going to repeat the same process. And here's our equation 3. I just copied it down. Let's solve for a. So a equal to 5 times 37 divided by 5. So that means a is going to give us simply 37. Here I have copied down this first equation over here. And let me go ahead and just fill in the blanks. So a in our case is 37 plus b equal to 27. Let's subtract 37 from both sides. So b turns out to be negative 10. And finally I copied down this second equation over here and our uh, c value is 37 by 5. So let me go ahead and write down 37 divided by 5 minus uh, d equals to 11. Now let's go ahead and move this 11 on the other side and negative d on the opposite side. So we're going to have d equal to 37 divided by 5 minus 11. So therefore our simplified value of d turns out to be negative 18 divided by 5. As you can see I have simplified on the right hand side. So this is our d value and here is our second set of values as you can see over here and here are our two sets of solutions one is for this left hand side and one is for the right hand side thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye